Welcome back to Life Take Game. Hi guys, welcome back to Life Take Game. While you're here, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit the post notification bell so you know every time I post. First time on channel, I'm Tay. Welcome. Let's get right into the video, you guys. This is the best Game Boy Advance never made. <laughs> you know that? Never made. They never did it. They never did it. Look at this color scheme. I'll probably do some B-roll of it so you guys can check it out. I call this, this is the Game Boy Advance Unhinged. It's been out for a while now, you guys, but I've had it for a while now, too. It's just, I, I, it slipped my mind to make the video of this. Like, look how pretty it is. Look at the color scheme. Got that, that DMG kind of, you know, with the red, the black, the aluminum. Look at it. It's just like... The SP at its greatest. Like when you turn it on, listen, look how loud that sounds. Ding, ding, ding. Right here, I have Final Fantasy VI in there. But I mean, like you go in here, you can adjust your brightness to maximum settings. It has that good comfortability in your hand, you guys. When you're playing it, it just feels like something weighty is in your hand. Hi you guys, and if you ever into a dark corner while you're playing down the street and someone tries to rush you, you just hold it from right here and take this hard shell, crack, right to the dome, you have a weapon of protection, plus an entertainment system. <laughs> no, I'm totally kidding. Nobody will harm in the filming of this video. <laughs> but this GBA, you guys, I don't know. People have really opened it up. You can get Bluetooth wireless headphones in it. It has USB-C charging, which is that's, that's just where everything is nowadays. Backlit screen, IPS screen. It's a little bit bigger than the original. It's heavier. Aluminum keys, clicky. I know you guys like that. You know what I mean? It's just sweet. Like There's so many other ways that Nintendo made that you can play GBA, but this, having a product like this, it's just different. This is the 101 screen. And this is this. It's a little bit bigger. The clamshell is not bad. It's just a little bit too tight on your hand. This gives you a little bit of grip. This is a, one variation. The Game Boy Advance SP 101. Boom. And we have just the 001 red. Only one, only a front lid screen, not back lid. You know? It's sweet Game Boy. It feels way lighter than this. You could also play it with the regular Game Boy Advance. I'm not gonna lie, an unhinge, and this is very hard to choose. Which whenever I'm playing Game Boy Advance, it's really hard for me to choose which one you guys choose: Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Advance, and Hunch. Like this, I like this form factor because it's wider. So for if you're a grown audience, a grown man like me playing the game, this is very comfortable. But this also feels like you have something you really hold in something in your hand. So both great options for the GBA, but this one has a little slight edge. You know, all the weightiness in your hand and something new. Nintendo should have came out with like this. So they also had another way you could have played the GBA. Boom. DS Lite had the Game Boy slot right here, the GBA slot. You could play there, or you could play DS games. So that's sweet. Last but not least, the other way to play the Game Boy Advance is the Game Boy Micro. A lot of people stepped on this this little device right here. Has the form factor like the GBA, but just like Micro. And to be honest, it's not bad when you're playing like this. Like it's not bad. It's a little screen. It has some power on it. And it's very small compared to this. Like look at this. It's just like it can fit right here as a keypad. But the back it has a backlit screen. Has a good speaker on it. It's pretty comfortable. Really cool too. You could pop off these little face plates and switch them to something that you want. Like Game Boy um, Pokemon Ember running on there. So this was a sweet Game Boy, a little nifty Game Boy GBA play too. Then you have the OG DS. Also had this slot and it actually fit very flush. So I don't know why they didn't make the hole deeper for the other, for the DS Lite and etc. But it's not about them, it's about this. You guys, if you can get your hands on this, I have a guy locally, Rob, Rob's Mods, he'll probably pop up on the screen over here. His his uh, info, so you, his info will probably pop up on the screen right here so you can check him out. It'll be in the description below, the link. 
you want to get one of these custom made, he does it for you. Basically, they take the guts of a 101 or a Game Boy SP, put it in this nice form factor with the backlit screen, the new IPS display. This is sweet, you guys. Really quality job. Like, look at this. This looks like Nintendo sell, sold this in the store, doesn't it? I'm so happy with this unit, you guys. Fun. It brings the, G the Game Boy Advance back to life. It also came with this dope case he hooked me up with. So when I'm not using it, I can use it as a sweet display. I just kind of plug it into it right here. Pop it in here. Then you slide. The two companies I make these things. And look, now you got a sweet display piece when you're not using it. I usually, if you watch any of my videos, I usually keep it up here on the shelf. And whenever I'm ready to use it, it's a premium device. It's not cheap. But it's definitely worth purchasing, you guys. I'm telling you, the Game Boy Advance Unhinged is one of the best GBAs that was never made. Nintendo likes to take their time when they're doing sweet things. I love them for it because they make quality products. But I mean, like, the PS Vita had Bluetooth and could run Netflix and all this stuff back when it came out. And the Switch, we're just, we're just getting Bluetooth now, so... They take their time, but sometimes the you know some features should they should automatically have the Bluetooth, the backlit screens because I remember playing with that snake light on um, my Game Boy Color, <laughs> Game Boy Advance. Once the it was the lights were done, it was nighttime. Had that light on or that warm light, you couldn't play it. Game Boy SP. They did come with it, but the screen wasn't as crisp. I didn't mention that. This screen is so crispy as well on the Game Boy Advance Unhinged. Get you guys yours now. If you have somebody locally could do it, if you're in Canada, Rob can get it done for you. Get it. I'm telling you guys, you won't, you won't regret it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a like below. What is your favorite way to play Game Boy Advance games? Do you like to emulate them? Do you use the original hardware like I do? Hope you like this video. Leave it in the comments below and we'll see you on the next one. Peace. Oh. <laughs> One more thing. 500 subscribers, you guys. Thank you. I appreciate you. We're halfway to our first goal on this channel. Couldn't do it with, and without any of you guys. And love you. Thank you for supporting me. And you guys keep giving me more motivation to keep making better content. Leave some ideas below if you have some content for me. Some things you want to see. Do you guys want to see the whole entire room? Do you guys want to see the collection? Do you guys want to see what I'm working with? Leave it in the comments below.